discuss If you have a question or a story, call and hit us up huh? Here it is, 253-234-71 and 49 Calling you can hit that line Then leave a voicemail, love what's on your mind <laughs> Go ahead and hit that line Then leave a voicemail of what's on your mind Check it Pride of the pie when we're speaking They will never understand why I love reach Across the world unto our people who ain't eating Let's agree to join together, lead a world with peace in it If you agree, let's sit down and handle it You bring your plans, we'll bring ours to scrambling Then we can go and start from that From the bottom, keeping love intact huh. We can go and start from that From the bottom, keeping love intact it going there everybody yeah oh it's them boys we back and we back and we back again oh man we back in action like a thriller movie this time i got another special guest mr jr dot himself <laughs> himself how y'all doing out there i know it's been a was i old <laughs> you know it's, how long it's been it's been a while oh uh, yeah it's been a, it's been a minute it's, it's been, been a minute it's been a minute but i tell you one thing it's always good to be back i feel like hey i feel like black people on easter sunday <laughs> wait what on easter sunday because they don't come to church on easter sunday <laughs> it's good to be back in church <laughs> well you know uh everybody everybody want to know where you been um i'm not gonna lie to you man uh I've been, I've been working, but at the same time, I've just been chilling, trying to, you know, figure out what's the next move, you know. Just, you know, life being life. Got the family on top of, like I just said, you know, trying to make that next move, see what it is for not only JR Dot Boy, I mean JR Dot, but also for Jerry himself when it comes to my family, so. You know, that's a, you know, day by day process. Um, having, you know, support system like Cal himself, you heard me. Uh, my guy continuously making moves, keeping from the bottom on top. So, you know, man, I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here. You know, I'm happy to to get it back going. They thought you retired from podcast. I didn't retire from, I mean, let me tell you something. I talk, so, look, check this out. I'm about to make it laugh. I got to. I'm sorry. I got to. So, the other day, my son, what, what did he do? I can't recollect what he did, but he know he, oh, he went to a party and he didn't, let me see, uh, he didn't clearly say where he was going. So we leaving, or ready to leave and can't find him. So I'm saying, this day and age, you just can't, your children, you know, you don't know where your kids are. You be like, man, what it? Nah, you go, you get your heart start racing. Well, yeah, they gone, they gone, they gone, and they can just be next door at the bottom, man. So, my wife gets them, boom. You know, she she told them what she had to tell them. I didn't say nothing because normally I'd be the one saying so. I didn't say not a lick. So we get in the car because he rode with me. So we driving. I mean, I'm in the zone to whereas. I ain't thinking about what just happened. I'm thinking about sleep. <laughs> it's you know when you talk so much, they have the kids have to ask you if you're gonna say something. He asked me, PC, you're not gonna say anything. Oh, he waiting on that. I say, what you mean? Why, why do you ask? Because normally you're just you know flat out just give me a, a whole lecture on you know me not listening. I said, so I talked to you that much. And that's that was the moment I knew <laughs> podcasting is in me. <laughs> oh, it's in your blood. It's in my blood because he was like, "Wait, you ain't gonna say nothing." I say, "Why? You know what you wasn't supposed to do, and you've done it anyway." And your mama did say what she had to say. Why do I have to say say it again? You know, <laughs> I'm like, I don't need to repeat myself. He just need to hear it from you. He just need to. He, he it's basically. He knew he did something wrong, and it's like, I ain't going to say nothing to acknowledge it, so he needs to let me know that he done something wrong. He, he told on himself. I'll tell you that. That was funny. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Say, bro. I'm like, you just ratting on yourself cold-blooded. It's like off of First 48, you know, when they go on commercial, 
Like who did it? Then they go on commercial do a comeback eating food. <laughs> one of the moments. Well, I guess he knew that you're the one who talked the most to him. I I talk a lot. Sometimes so now he was waiting. He was like, "Man, I know he's gonna say something." I know. I'm waiting on it. But and then it, you know, it's it's even scarier when you're quiet. Mm-hmm. Cause then you like, I don't know what they thinking. They <laughs> they you say something they quiet, so I know I I'm, I'm in trouble for real. But you know what I always told him though. I said, when I'm quiet, you should start. You you should be scared. Oh, that's why he asked. That's why he asked me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was funny. I'm like, Lord, that made my day. I said, so I know I ain't. I'm doing something right. <laughs> well, you know, glad to have Jr. back oh, up in man. the I feel studio. Like I feel like a guest. Back up on the mic. He do. <laughs> I feel like a mic in his piece. I'm over here well, you sweating. Feel like a, you feel like a mic? I feel like a guest on the mic. You hear me? My phone look messing up words. But uh, I do gotta say thank y'all for uh, tuning in. And uh, as all, I gotta quit saying uh, uh, even though I know what I'm gonna say. Man, my mama used to tell me that. <laughs> even like, when's your birthday? Uh, yeah. what's your name? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta quit saying that. I used to try to edit that out. Yeah, when I. Did all the old episodes. But what I was going to say is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just natural, though. Hey, it's been for, what, 34 years? I got to work on that. It's, it's, it's all right, bro. Just accept it. But what I was going to say is that your boys is almost to 100 episodes. Not 100. 100. 100. 100. 100 episodes. And we're going we gonna to go and knock it out. We're going to not get out, dog. And so, if you feel the need that you want to reach out to your boys and give us, like, some words of wisdom or encouragement or just congratulating us on getting to 100 episodes, you can hit that number. I will have to say it later. <laughs> wait, I forgot wait, that was, Oh, hit the number. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Two five three. Two five three. Two three four. Two three four. Seven one. Seven one. Four nine. Four nine. I hope that's the four nine. Oh, four. Yeah, four. 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 four four can't nine. say four. Not four nine. Not four. Yeah, Why yeah. not? Four. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Four. So after this episode, be like, in two weeks after that, we'll be hitting the hundred mark, a big podcasting milestone for us. A hundred. That's that's dedication. A hundred episodes. So you think about I it. I can go back and listen to myself or somebody else a hundred times. That's crazy though, yo. And I, I appreciate everybody, all our guests, all our listeners, everybody who's been on the show, even the future the future the yeah. future guests that's gonna be on the show. Uh the like my boy, like all the podcasters, Trav, Velvet, Scoop, Oversaturate. It's, it's a lot to name. Robin Slim, the X Squad, Mo, Casey. I, I can't name all y'all right now. I don't want to. <laughs> There'd be a whole episode I name all y'all. But yeah, just got a shout out to y'all. And just letting y'all know right now before we really get into this episode. Yeah. Man. I remember when we did the shout out episode. I think that was like. I don't like think what... I ever heard nobody else do a shout out. We did a whole. Matter of fact. I'm going to replay that episode in the upcoming week. I'm going to put it out again the upcoming week. Yo, that was a that was a tight little episode. Like, we did a whole shout-out episode. This is how new we were. <laughs> we were shouting <laughs> out everybody. Was like, it when we hit 50? It was way before 50. Was it before 50? Yeah, it was way before 50. I thought it was when It was we like hit episode 12, I think we were doing. <laughs> we were doing shout-out. Hey, like, we really made it somewhere. Hey. We was over here giving double high fives to five listeners. I wasn't mad. Yeah. You know, I'm like, yes. No, we did two shout out episodes. Was it? One of them was just a. a was it? Two? It was. We did two shout out episodes. Cause then we grew more, and mm-hmm. we're like, we gotta do another one. I thought it wasn't but it for we the were... fifty for the anniversary. Nah, it wasn't for fifty. For the fifty, you but it, it was crazy. Like we, I never hear nobody else do a whole shout out episode. Oh, shout out. That was funny though. That. And that shows you how much we appreciate everybody who was tuning in to us even back then. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we can do a shout out episode now. 
we because can. it would be a long it will, episode. It will only. Yeah. But we're going to go on and hop into kick it, kick it, kick it. our first to- Well, you know, we already did the first topic. You know, where you've been. Yeah, where I've been. I've been, yeah. Well, I guess we already did that topic. Yeah, yeah. So we, now we're going to hop into. We got more. Let me see. Um, sh- You know what? I've been tired extremely. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I need to, you know. Severe like, case of OLD, my nice. friend. You know what, though? I can say this. Um, It's been real hard. Not okay, check it. Yesterday, I'm riding a bike with TT and we passed by a little park and they playing ball. Now, I like parked the little bike, I was still on it, and I seen some dudes playing. And they turned around and asked me, One little kid drove past me, If you want to, you can go play. I'm like, Nah, little man. And then, as he goes over there, the dude turned around, Hey, you want to join in? You can, man. It took everything in me to say no. Your boy's on injury reserve right now, so it's real hard. Especially, well, well, how, how long are you out on injury reserve? Uh, it's been ooh, it's about a couple weeks ago, about a month ago. So that'd be two months that I have to be on injury reserve. So I'm I'm clear. So now you got another month to go. I got another month to go, but I'm clear to play by hoop fest. But then you're gonna be rusty. No. Because that don't mean I don't play. I can't do any hard, like, playing. I can still be active because I ride the bike, and that feels great. I can, But I can't do... But your do, cardio going to be horrible. I can still run, but I can't put, like, much... So Pressure on it. I can't put much pressure on it. Like, you know, stopping. But by then, I should be good. So we're going to need the Costco size of Ben Gay and Ice Hot. Oh, love it. I'm going to be the sponsor that week. You're going to need the extra strength. Es- pain reliever. I'm going to need the escrow strength. <laughs> the escrow. <laughs> yeah, man. But, yeah, your boy coming back, man. Just doing them little simple little stretches and workout, man. It had you in there drenched. I mean, I took out a little 20 little minutes, boy. I came out the room like I just did a 30 minute, like a 30 minute lifting session. Like, that's what I'm talking about. But it feels good, though. As uh, long as he back, you know, in good shape, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. But your boy's going to try to bring home the chip this time. We bringing home that chip, son. We bringing home I don't know, because them dudes be cheating. You know, you try to be in the six feet and under league and be like them six eight dudes. And I hope you right. Oh, snap. I hope we in the right league. <laughs> You mean you didn't check? I'm chicken. I'm, I'm chicken. Oh, I don't man. know. Last yeah. time, no. What happened? We got in the six feet and over league. Did we? And we didn't have nobody over 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> no, we... We those six, seven dudes, man. Wait, no. We in the right league. We good. I don't know. The way he looking, we about to keep <laughs> nah, on with this good. show I'm going so he can go home and check. I'm can but we check? Can this... we edit our profile? I don't know. You better hurry up. I mean, it's a miss a month till showtime. All right, this this is a topic that we're going to roll on into right now. Mm-hmm. How should kids and adults be handled these days? I'm going to let JR. lead on that one. Okay, so check it. You have an, uh, you know how you have some overly aggressive children, right? Like kids. Just say out and about, just overly aggressive. You mean like when you playing football? I mean, some kids. Uh, sports? Just, just, no. Just say if you at the park with the kids. Yeah. And you see an over-aggressive child, right? How would you go by handling that child? Like, if that child's playing with your child and you see the tension, you know, the aggressiveness, how would you handle that child? I mean, I, I have to go talk to him. And then go talk to the, you know, talk to the parent. First off, you know, I speak to the little dude. Mm-hmm. You know, let them know that, you know, it's not that serious. Ain't nobody trying to get hurt out here. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, if he don't listen, then, you know, I have to stop. I probably stop my kid.